What is going on, guys? Grave here. Last night, we got a playlist update for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Of course, yesterday was December the 9th. This playlist update was a little bit later than usual. Uh, usually, you know, it's in the middle of the day, in the morning, that kind of thing. We did get one pretty late last night, and Treyarch actually did release some patch notes for this, and there was a good bit of changes within this. Uh, before I get into all the details, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, smash the like button, and check out everything down in the description of the community Discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They're having a big Christmas sale right now, all kind of gaming stuff, desks, chairs, keyboards, mice, whatever, uh, kind of whatever you're looking for. I do have an affiliate link down in the description so you can use it uh, if you want to purchase any items. I would really appreciate it if you did that. But give them a look. Like I said, they got a lot of stuff on sale right now kind of for the Christmas holiday season. Uh, kind of getting into what the changes were with yesterday's update. They did fix the map voting system uh, where it was unintentionally disabled. I'm sure if most of you played yesterday afternoon, you could notice that you could not vote for any map, which was kind of bad, but that did get fixed pretty quickly. They also added Miami to combined arms map rotation. Now, last night, we, me and one of my friends did play some combined arms. We did get a map or a, a, a game on Miami. It was combined arms assault. Now, what you're seeing in the background right now, of course, is hard point. A lot of these uh, flags where the hard points are are kind of the same locations that, uh, you know, the flags are in combined arms. I'm not really sure if I'm a big fan of that. It is nice to have more people on this map because it is so large. So 12v12 was really nice. But at the same time, I'm not really a big fan of some of the, the flag locations because it's just spawn trap central, really. I mean, it, it was our team spawn trapping the other team or vice versa. So I, I feel kind of like they need to probably adjust some of these flag locations. But it is kind of nice to have another map in combined arms. And in my opinion, Miami is so big, 12v12 on Miami is, is actually a pretty nice uh, change as well. Some other things they did yesterday, of course, was some stability fixes. Uh crashes that could occur when the field mic was in use, uh, a rare crash that could occur in search and destroy. Uh, zombies, they did add some general stability fixes, added pack-a-punch camos for the ray gun, also addressed an issue where zom uh, zombies could ignore the player after leaving the dark aether during certain side quests. Uh, for PS4 and PS5 onslaught mode, they added Nuketown 84 back to the onslaught uh, map playlist. They addressed an issue where the breadcrumbs could appear on locked items. Addressed an issue where bre uh, menu breadcrumbs could return after going to the campaign. Addressed an issue where uh, placeholder boxes could appear in place of players' calling cards. And addressed an issue where the red artifact could appear under the rewards after a in the after action report. And the hunter icon will no longer appear distorted in weapon mastery tab for the gunsmith for the M79. The one thing I did find interesting was they were talking about the calling cards, kind of having that you know white block on them. I uh, finally got a Relentless. It was really, really nice to get a Relentless. I'm going to try to upload that gameplay later today. It was kind of a live commentary I did. I was kind of just sneaking out in the dunes and satellite with the LMG. <laughs> but uh, I, I did get that Relentless. And what's strange is I never got the calling card. I think, and now I could be wrong, I thought there was one of the Dark Ops or the Classified Ops calling cards was for our Relentless um, and... I have the medal now for Relentless, and I didn't get it, which kind of sucks because it is such a sweaty game. It's hard to get a Bloodthirsty, and I got a Relentless, and I was like really excited, and I was like, man, I didn't even get the calling card. <laughs> so I'm not sure if anybody else is having calling card issues. I know I thought that was kind of interesting. They were talking about the calling cards not working correctly. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys have not been getting some of your calling cards done. I know the camos have been glitched out. They said they're still trying to work on those diamond camos not unlocking properly for some players. They're still looking at that. I know they're still also looking at some issues uh, on some of the platforms with, you know, crashing and that kind of thing. They talked about that, but those have not been fixed just yet. But let, like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know if your, uh, you know, calling cards are not working correctly. I'm going to end the commentary right here. I'm going to let the video play on out if you guys would like to finish watching it. Not much longer. But anyway, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.